What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for your news and rumors update. News and rumors. You know, wrestling fans, usually I come on here and I have a lot of information for you. A lot of news for you. Not today. Not today. Today, I have one, one article, one major story for you today that we're going to be covering. And quite frankly, wrestling fans, it involves the greatest character in WWE history and the hottest character in WWE Today, The Undertaker and The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. These two superstars could be getting ready to have a collision course on the WWE. We're going to go over that today. And if it is the right move, I'll be back in just a second for this explosive edition of news and rumors. Wrestling fans, I'm going to tell you. Right now. The rumor that I just got done reading, what we're discussing today. By the way, if you agree with anything that I'm about to mention, anything about this podcast, you do me a favor, subscribe to the channel today, make sure you give me a like, make sure you give me a comment down below, make sure you hit that bell button so you get all notifications, follow me on my journey right here on YouTube. But wrestling fans, I want you to just picture this. Something that looks tremendous on paper. Tremendous. The Phenom. The Dead Man. The Reaper. The Demon from Death Valley. All on one side. All these tremendous names. All these tremendous, fantastic names that The Undertaker has on one side. Taking on the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Somebody who has been eating worlds all over Kane, Jerry Lawler, Seth Rollins as of late. Numerous superstars. I mean, just numerous. Finn Balor. Countless superstars have fallen to the Fiend on his way to facing Seth Rollins. Haven't been matches, but they have fallen. Wrestling fans, with this being said, is it truly time? Is it truly time for the Undertaker versus the Fiend to ca to happen. Is it truly time for the Undertaker versus the Fiend to happen when Seth Rollins versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt is going to happen October 6, 2019 inside Hell in a Cell? Because I want you to think of this. Remember this. If Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt happens. If that is the scheduled match to happen later on this year, probably at the next Saudi show, Crown Jewel, or wherever Crown Jewel is being taken place at, The Fiend loses. At Hell in a Cell. So he'll have a loss on his record. Pretty much his second major match in the WWE. What does that mean? 
outside of the people who genuinely are invested in the Fiend's character. Like me, and, and, and a lot of the other people in the wrestling community, and, and, and a big part of the casual audience. I mean, quite frankly, The Fiend has brought some of the casual audience interest back. When you look at The Fiend, that is the one character that people actually shut up. Shut up! And listen to what he has to say. Wrestling fans... Seth Rollins beats him at Hell in a Cell. What does that do when he gets a loss to his record? People start to not believe in Bray Wyatt. What happened to Samoa Joe? What happened to Shinsuke Nakamura? What happened to all of them when they started losing? The Finn goes on to The Undertaker. Yeah. It would look great if The Fiend took The Undertaker's picture and put it on the Firefly Funhouse wall. Put it up next to Seth Rollins, Kane, Jerry Lawler, Mick Foley, the rest of them. Kurt Angle, that would look great on Bray Wyatt's record up there since he came up with this new persona. But there's probably a 90 some percent chance that Vince McMahon would not let that happen. You and I both know that. So, is this really the right move? Is this a good thing? Does this really need to happen? No matter how great it looks on paper, no matter how great it would be to see the Firefly Funhouse cut promos on The Undertaker, no matter how great it would be to see The Undertaker in the graveyard digging a, a hole for Bray Wyatt after the match, so he has a plot waiting for him when the match is over, so on and so forth. Collecting souls, having the Undertaker inside the squared circle, cutting a promo, and Firefly Funhouse interrupts the Undertaker, and of course the mind games that both of them play inside the squared circle, no matter how great that looks. In the end, at the conclusion of the match, do we really need to see this contest? Because Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, who is on a roll as of late, Being the hottest character in WWE. Take two losses. Because if he's facing The Undertaker, that means it's a guaranteed loss to Seth Rollins. That's just my opinion on this. You all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel today. And of course, until I see you again tomorrow for Raw Review, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.